let's take a look at this user plug. The creator reported issues, where some of the insides of the plug were conforming to the target object's surface. The cause for this can really only be related to the plug's conform vertex group. But before we get to that I want to point out, that while you can and perhaps should test plugs on flat geometry like a cube, you really should test on curved geometry as well, maybe primarily so. This is not directly related, but I'm noticing some bevel weights here, that make no sense. The plug has a deformer according to the validate plug tool, so I'm unhiding to check it out. It doesn't actually cover the entire plug, so I'm deleting it. This plug mesh has bevel weights set and has a live bevel modifier. These will be applied by the plug tool and will mess with your vertex groups. Keeping them live would also prevent you from using the normal transfer. You shouldn't use bevel modifiers on the plug mesh or any subset that will get deformed. It's asking for trouble and the mods won't carry over anyway. Since the plug was also C sharpened by hard ops, I'm also using hard ops to undo all that. I'm then just as sharpening, with only the edge sharps enabled. You could do that manually via Blender's Mark Sharp tool in the Control E menu in edit mode. There are also two normal transfer vertex groups that don't belong here. And as predicted, the conform group covers more than just the surface level polygons. I'm manually recreating the micro bevels here. I'm also adding some edges to this long stretch to allow for better deformation. I'm now just trying to even out the perimeter face loop. As said before, its purpose is to give you some space in case you want to edit the bevel after you've plugged this into a mesh. Having it uneven makes little sense in this context. It plugs well. There's some distortion on the subset, if it deforms, which we can fix using a deformer. <laughs> 